I'm here with uh, Roger Thornton. He's the CTO of Alien Vault, and uh, he's going to talk a little bit about uh, the challenges of uh, connecting security to business, communicating the value of uh, what the security teams do upstream, and what do you see as one of the biggest challenges there, Roger? Sure. Um, well, you know, if you think about information security and all the problems that you know, particularly those of us technical people see, um, it's real easy to see things that are voluminous and expensive and, and, and scary, but a lot of times it's very hard to get the budget to go fix those things unless we can equate how those can uh, harm the business, right? And so um, over my career, I've seen a lot of really good, you know, this is kind of where, you know, when people get into the management roles of, of security, they get really good at factoring all that technical data, applying some judgment of risk to it, and then translating it into, you know, uh, an increase or decrease in reputation damage to the business or um, violation of some regulatory concern, and then being able to explain that to the business people. Um, I think that where we are today, you know, 2013, there's a lot of people that are good at that. You know, when I first started doing this stuff, it was over 10 years ago, it was a big, big, big disconnect. And I, I think there's still an opportunity for that. Uh, no matter um, what job you have or what role you have in information security, really making sure to understand uh, the business that you're supporting, as well as you do the uh, technical ins and outs of the uh, attacks and threats and vulnerabilities and other types of security uh, uh, things you're working with. Well, let's talk about that evolution. So uh, let's say 10 years ago, what what was uh, the security teams, what were they saying to the to the C-suite? Uh, what was the board hearing? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and that's really the difference. What were we saying and what were they hearing? Yeah. Um, I, 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 I can remember an anecdotal story where um, uh, that back then I was working at software security and there was a person we were working with and we uh, went with him to meet his boss and we had all these findings in, in their code. And the guy gets up and he's, he's speaking to a, you know, a business unit manager at a, I think it was a retail company. And he starts going into you know, all of these SQL injection problems and cross-site scripting and oh my God, you know, there's buffer overflows and da 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 And these are, if you understand, yeah. <laughs> technically these are really bad things. But the business guy, I, I could completely see him saying to himself, uh, keep that kid away from me <laughs> and his SQL injections and what have you. And so, you know, um, I think that uh, a long time back, you know, we had, uh, maybe the management guys were, you know, not not super in touch with the business, not super technical, and so it was the younger people, the, the hands-on people that, that really understood the problem, and that created a gap. Um, what I've seen definitely firsthand over over the years are some of those younger people got a little bit more responsibility, had to understand how to make uh, proposals for a budget, learn a bit about the business, and now the, the those people that were the practitioners 10, 15 years ago are the managers now, and they're 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 doing a much better job of connecting the dots between the technical issues and the and, and what it means to the business. I'll I'll, I'll tell you something that I, I do, and if I ever meet you, I'll probably ask about your company. And so I'm a total business junkie, right? And so before I go visit, visit a company, I'll uh, look at it from an investor's point of view. I, I, I like all the stock websites. And so if you're a telco, I'll know how much your sales are, whether you're expanding or contracting, what your latest quarter's revenues are. And I always ask the security people, hey, how's business? And I... I, I, I kind of keep track on oh. how many, was that person able to sit there and have a discussion with me about the telecommunications business or banking business or hospital business? And when, they, when they're not able to, I think to myself, man, you gotta, you're really gonna have to, you know, it, 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 to, to, to be able to make change in your company, to be able to get budget, to be able to make a difference, you gotta know that business. And you gotta love that business, right? And so, 
you like the airline business and you're working in security for a store, maybe you ought to go work in security in the airline business or what have you. So you really have as much passion about which company does as 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 the um, the attacks and uh, uh, breaches and threats that we're working against. And so now we're, we're seeing uh, uh, CISOs uh, really being elevated to to the executive level in a company. And, you bet. And so, so what are you seeing as, as some of the qualities of a really good CISO? Great question. Um, you know, I, so um, I, I, I think there's certain industries, uh, certain size companies that have always had some very savvy, smart executives in that role for, for a long time, right? Other industries, uh, they, they, they just didn't prioritize the role, right? And so um, you might have had a, a old-fashioned person that, that, that was really just kind of there to work the regulatory stuff. But like I said before, um, more and more I'll meet um, younger people who started off as hands-on security architects, network sysops, what have you, that, that learned the business, learned the ins and outs of management and became CISOs, and I think those are great folks. I also see other people are moving into security from other parts of IT, like really good um, ops managers or dev managers that, that kind of already have the, um, the, the, the business sensitivity and, and moving in, into security. But I, I mean, in the, in the uh, so 2002 is the first time I worked in security, and so 11 years later, there's been a major transformation in the people you meet in, the, in those management roles. Really sharp, really um, uh, astute, not just from a security point of view, but from a business point of view as well. Well, Roger, always a pleasure to see you. Uh, Roger Thornton, CTO at Alien Vault, uh, and uh, I hope you have a great week, Roger. Thanks, Anthony. You too.